So we got the wing all closed up, and then we discovered a little problem. The bell crank, airline bell crank in there, when it's properly torqued per plans, it binds just enough. It's not nearly as free as the other side was, so we had to go into troubleshooting mode. First thing we did is, of course, we called Bands Tech Support and talked to our good friend Kevin, who guided us through the process. So it has a lot to do, the, the first thing to check, is the brass bushing that goes through the um, pivot point. If that's not sized correctly, then we're putting too much pressure on the bell crank with the bolt and not enough, not allowing the brass uh, tube to be what's captured. So follow us as we pull it out, take a look at it and see what we have to do to fix it. Most likely, it's going to be doing some shaving down of the powder coating on the bell crank to make sure that the brass tube sticks out just a little bit more than anything else. Let's cross our fingers. That's all it is. Should be pretty easy. Then we get these wings out of here and we go to work on the fuselage. So stick with us on uh, 14 Victor Echo as we troubleshoot our bell crank. Shouldn't be that bad, right? No. Okay, it wasn't the sizing of the bushing that was the problem, but we did find the problem and it wasn't that bad. You see here, this bushing is rough and does not spin freely inside the bell crank. So you can feel it just kind of binding right about there. And I know the shot's not the best, but we try. Uh, so the fix is let's get some sandpaper and let's uh, smooth out this uh, brass bushing just a little bit. And in reality, the sandpaper didn't work as well, so I took it over to the polish wheel on my 3M wheel and just gave it a very light little hit on the polish wheel, smoothed it out, and now it is like butter, nice and easy.